Hey guys, if you want to know how I have created this look, then please just keep watching. Okay, so especially in these colder months, I like to moisturise my skin and I do use a night cream. It is the Unique's Time Correcting Night Cream. So this is actually really quite nice and light. Um, so I do also really like using this for a day cream as well. You want to make sure that it is absorbing into your skin before you go in with your primer. And don't forget about your neck. It is actually really important to moisturise your neck as well. So going in with the Touch Glorious Face Primer now. You only need a pea sized amount and just rub this basically all over your face and drag it a little bit down your neck as well. Okay, so another prepping step is eye primer. So because I'll be using um, kind of pressed shadows, I want to make sure that they're going to last all day and not crease and look perfect and flawless. So eye primer is the best step that you could possibly do for this. So going into palette one and the end shade Elated is like a really nude matte shade. So I'm just blending this just under my brow bone. You can apply it all over the lid if you want, but I'm just applying it to the brow bone. So this is a customizable um, quad palette. So these are the shadows that I have chosen. So you get to choose whatever shades that you want to put in this palette. It is completely up to you. So just going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going into the shade Gullible and I'm just starting on that outer corner first and then I'm going to start blending it into the crease and into the inner corner as well. To blend your shadows easier just add a little bit at a time, slowly build it up and use small circular motions or windshield wiper motions. So I'm now, with no product left on the brush, I'm just slowly dragging that product out, further out towards my um, kind of temple area, just to elongate the whole look. So now just going into the shade Gingerly, so this is a lot warmer than Gullible. So this is just going to add like extra depth to the look, so I'm just applying this into the inner corner and outer corner and blending it across into that transition shade. Okay, so this is a cream shadow. This is a limited edition shade which is only available in December. So this is Mysterious and it is a metallic maroon and oh my god, just look at that colour. Okay, so I was going to do a swatch for you guys, but I just kind of started patting it right onto my eye. Um, so this, I'm just applying it to my lid. So this is the cream shadow brush. So I decided to use a brush instead of my finger for this because I want it to be just kind of remaining on my lid. Whereas with your finger, it's easy to apply with your finger, but you, you may go a little bit higher up um, than you actually want it. So using a brush is actually a really handy tool to have. So this is the shade Manipulative and this is a metallic pressed shadow which is a coppery shade. So this I'm just applying with my finger and just adding it to the centre of my lid and then just lightly patting out the edges just to kind of make it blend a bit easier. This is the metallic shade Antsy. I think it is, I'll write it down for you guys. Um, so this is like a really nice highlight colour. Okay, so it's a good thing to do your eyes first, especially if you're going to be using loose shadows or press shadows or anything like that. If you get any fallout, you can simply just wipe it off um, before you're going to go in with your foundation. So this is the Liquid Touch Foundation and I've just used four drops. And you just want to dot it around your face. And then instead of swirling the brush around, I'm patting it as if I'm using a beauty blender. I find that this is actually one way that you're going to get it to look more full coverage by patting the brush instead. So 
So time for the Skin Perfecting Concealer. So I have a little blob on the back of my hand and I'm just going in with a brush and I tend to use the concealer to highlight certain areas of my face, so like the centre points. And then I use it to conceal any dark circles and make my under eyes look a lot more flawless. So you want to do an upside down triangle for this part. This is actually another really good trick to kind of neaten up your eyeshadow look so especially using a brush you have a lot more control of where the um, concealer is going to be applied so if you have done your eyes first it's a really really good little trick just to neaten up the whole look and then just blending it out with a dampened beauty sponge So you want to use a setting powder to set your concealer, this is just going to help it stop um, creasing into your little fine lines and make it look a lot more flawless. So going in for the under eye area now, so you want to use the same shadows as what you did um, for your lid. So I'm starting off with Gullible first and then adding a little bit of Gingerly. And then using a cream shadow brush, I'm just adding that mysterious cream shadow. And then just applying a little bit more inner corner highlight because, you know, you need that to be popping. Okay, so this part, guys, I decided to do a wing. So you don't have to do a wing. Um, you can literally just leave it at the eyeshadow and then apply your mascara and be done with the look. Um, but I did decide to do wing liner. Now I haven't sped this up, I haven't edited this bit, simply just so that you guys can see exactly how I do wing liner and how easy it can be once you figure out an easy way for you guys to apply it. So this is the way that I usually would do my liner. So I start on the outer corner first, draw that line and then draw it into the eye and then just short strokes um, just along the lash line. It does take a bit of practice, but once you master how to do it, it's actually a lot easier than what you think. And there you go, wing liner is done. So now I'm just going to apply a black liner to my waterline and also a tight line, um, which is applying a black liner to your upper waterline, so where your lashes are. This does tickle and it does take a lot to get used to. So because my eyes are going to be quite smoky, I decided to use both of the mascaras. So I'm going in first with the Epic Mascara, so I'm just giving it first coat. Then I'm going to let this dry, and then this is the second coat of Epic Mascara. So while Epic is still wet, I went in now with the fibres from the 3D Fibre Lash. And I only applied them really to the tips of the lashes. So this is just going to add extra length and extra volume to the lash. And then you want to set those fibres in place using the transplanting gel. So, brow time! Oh, I absolutely love this palette. So this is the Brow Obsession palette. So this has basically got everything that you need for your brows. So I'm just getting my finger into the wax first and just brushing it over the whole of the brow. And I'm just getting a spoolie and just combing it through. So this is a brush that you absolutely need, it's the Brow Artist brush, it is so precise guys, like seriously, it is perfect. So I'm just going into the dark brown shadow first and then starting underneath in the centre of my brow, I'm just going to start doing short strokes and then I'm doing the same on the top part of my brow. 
Now, I like my brows to look a lot more rounded, so I do tend to bring the product a little bit further out than what my brow actually is. Uh, this is just because I like it to look a lot more rounded. So just adding a bit of product at a time, uh, the powder really does go quite a long distance. Um, so you just want to kind of fill in that area between those two lines that you've created and then slowly blend it towards the beginning of your brow. So I haven't added any more product, um, I've just blended out the dark shadow so it's going to blend a lot easier now with the lighter shade. So the lighter shade I just apply to the start of the brow and I just tend to flick it up to give the appearance of a lot of hair. So this is one of the reasons why the brush is perfect because it is brilliant for that um, hair like appearance. So I've just got a little bit of the wax on the other side of the brush. So you have a small angled side and then you have a flat squared side. So in the palette you also get what I consider to be a concealer. So it does look pink but once you apply it it doesn't like transfer as a pink. It blends out really really nicely. But you want to use this as your concealer. So this is what's going to neaten up the whole brow. So now just going in with a bit of the highlighting shade, I'm just going to apply that to the brow bone. So because of the foundation and the concealer kind of flattening the appearance of my face, I'm just going to add a bit of bronzer just to add a bit more definition. So you want to apply this also to your temples and your cheekbones, you can apply it to the sides of your nose if you want to give it a slight contour, I don't really tend to do that but you can if you want. Ok so now just going in with a blush, so this shade is sophisticated, it can be very pigmented so just be really light handed with this one. Ok so this was the limited edition lip exfoliator, this is a peppermint flavour and oh my god it tastes amazing. Um, but you can just get a lip exfoliator, if you don't have one you need one because the difference it will make to your lip products it's insane, it's amazing and you need to exfoliate that dead skin off your lips anyway especially in the colder weather where they're going to be a lot more chapped. Shockingly I decided to go in with a nude lipstick, so this is the shade Stella and it is a splash liquid lipstick. And seriously guys, this is so smooth and so soft, the feel amazing. And that's it for this look guys, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you will join me for the next video. Mwah!